Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the F4 SVTX, a 20x20mm flight controller with an integrated VTX that might save you some space on your next micro build. In this video I'm going to go through its features, show you how to set it up and then I'm going to mount it on my Spintech Race 1 quadcopter and head outdoors to take it for a test flight. Inside this small bag we're getting an IPX linear antenna, a 6 pin connector for the ESC and power interface and of course the flight controller. The feature that makes this flight controller quite unique is that it has a built-in VTX with a selectable output strength of 25, 100 and 200 milliwatts and it comes in a pretty compact size. It weighs only 3.17 grams and it's pretty impressive because if you compare it to this flight controller from the AGLC F428 stack, this is an F4 20x20 flight controller which weighs 3.71 grams so the F4 SVTX is actually lighter and it has a built-in VTX and it's quite impressive. The flight controller itself is an F4 flight controller. It comes pre-flashed with Beta Flight 3.2.1 and it's running Matic F4.11 firmware. On the front of the flight controller we can find the 4-in-1 ESC connector as well as the power connector. I highly recommend to check the wiring diagram before connecting your 4-in-1 ESC. For example, I'm going to use this 4-in-1 ESC from SPC Maker and the pinout of this 6-pin connector is not the same as the flight controller so we'll have to do some modifications. So the right wire is the battery ground, then the battery plus, the support voltage is between 7 to 17 volts and make sure to connect directly to the battery and not to a plus 5 volts on your 4-in-1 ESC controller because then the flight controller is not going to work properly. Then signal 2, signal 1, signal 4 and signal 3. On the top right we can find the IPX connector for the antenna, then we have this power button that changes the output strength of the VTX between 25, 100 and 200 milliwatts, and we have this button over here that changes the frequency between all the available 48 channels. But the nice thing about this VTX, it actually supports drum protocol, so you'll be able to set up the VTX through Betaflight OSD, and that's the reason I'm not going to show you how to change it through these buttons over here. It uses these LED indicators that are not very comfortable, but because it uses the Trump protocol, it's actually pretty convenient to set it up, and I'm going to do it through Betaflight OSD. Over here we can find the pads for the buzzer and for the LED controller. Next to the micro USB port we can find over here the boot button for the flight controller. And on the bottom of the flight controller we can find these pads for the receiver and the ground plus 5 volts and the video in for the FPV camera. Now if you bought this flight controller or actually plan to buy it, pay attention to what I'm going to say right now. This flight controller actually powers up the VTX when it's connected through USB, so make sure that the antenna is always connected. Other flight controllers that I've reviewed in the past didn't power up the VTX when they were connected through USB, but this one actually does. But luckily when I checked it out, I connected the antenna before plugging up the USB and I actually tested it and it was working. So make sure the antenna is always connected. Probably the VTX is going to burn pretty fast if the antenna is not going to be connected. The next thing I'm going to do is to change the Ishin Mini Cube on my Spintec Race 1 quadcopter with this 4-in-1 EC from SPC Maker. On top I'm going to mount the F4 SVTX and I'm also going to use this Arik Sour receiver. Then I'm going to go through beta flight configuration and head outdoors to take it for a test flight. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.